Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's try to use what we've learned in the last few videos. Here we're given a very simple circuit, an inductor. We drive a voltage through the inductor. The voltage is time varying. It has a maximum voltage of 40 volts and the function is the cosine of 60t plus 30 degrees. That means that the angle of frequency is 60 radians per second and the phase angle is 30 degrees. The inductance is 0.2 Henry's and they want us to find the current through the circuit. How do we do that? Well, we start with our voltage equation and then we're going to convert the voltage equation to the frequency domain. We can do this as follows. So we know that the voltage here uh, is going to be equal in the frequency domain is going to be equal to the maximum voltage 40 times the phase angle of 30 degrees. Well, that's pretty easy to convert from the time domain to the frequency domain. Next, we need to have a relationship between the voltage and the current in the frequency domain. And we've learned that the voltage is equal to J times omega L times the current in the frequency domain, which means that we can solve this equation for the current. That means I is equal to V divided by J times omega L. Now we're going to go ahead and Calculate this. So here we have the voltage in the frequency domain, that's 40, and the phase angle of 30 degrees, and then we divide that by J omega L. Now J here, that's a phase angle of 90 degrees, and omega times L, well, let's see here, omega, well, omega that was equal to 60, so here we get 60, multiplied times L, uh, L that is equal to 0 0.2, and then a phase angle here of 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, there we go. And this then reduces to 40 with a phase angle of 30 degrees divided by 0.2 times this, that would be 12 and a phase angle of 90 degrees. Now this is an easy calculation. We simply divide the amplitudes and we subtract the 90 degrees from the 30 degrees. So this becomes equal to I in the frequency domain is and let's see, 40 divided by 12, I believe that's 3.33. Let's see here, yes it is. That's equal to 3.33 and with a phase angle of 30 minus uh, 90, which would be minus 60 degrees. And now we convert this back into the time domain. And so we can say that the current as a function of time is equal to the maximum current, which is 3.33 times the cosine of omega t. Now we have the same omega t as we have for the voltage. That would be 60 times t. And the phase angle will be a minus 60 degrees. Like this. And of course that would be in terms of amps. And there would be the result, which is quite easy to obtain when we first take the voltage in the time domain, convert to the frequency domain, calculate the current in the frequency domain, and then convert back to the time domain. And that's how it's done.